And here he is. Yes. You see, Todd McKenney, Australia's TV legend and, of course, um, all our nice guy. Singer, yes. dancer. He can do it all. I'm so nervous walking in here. <laughs> Todd McKenney, welcome, firstly. Um, Thank you. I feel like the new kid at school or something. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, because it's one more than you could do last time. And you're on Thank time. Thank you very Todd. much. You're bang on time. I was actually time. early. Oh, okay, well, let's have a listen to what happened last time when you were supposed to be coming in here to visit us. Todd McKenney, and are you still in bed right now? No, I'm now up. With the, <laughs> I don't know. I think I can, on. How are you, I Nathan? Know, I think I can hear horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm vertical, but I'm so embarrassed. You are in trouble for not coming into the studio. Mm. We will think of a Look, punishment. Well, I'll tell you what. You set the challenge, I'll come in. Oh, no, so. I wish. Oh, why? <laughs> Out of anyone to say that to, why would I say that to you guys? Here's the deal, <laughs> Todd McKenney. We had a bit of a party here last night. I the first part of your that. punishment was you weren't invited. <laughs> The second. second part of the punishment is we'd like you to clean the dishes and also <laughs> vacuum the streamers <laughs> off the floor as we do this interview with you. Oh, no. Hang on. He's not dressed appropriately, Nathan. No. Right, <laughs> we do oh, have an kidding. apron for you, Todd. This is about to come out now. We need to protect uh, your lovely um, um, outfit. So oh, okay, it's thanks. the teddy bear's picnic. Um, I thought it was going to be one of those aprons, like the, you know, the Roman statue ones that have the or, you know, your bits, the bits hanging and, out. Yeah. Oh, well, we did look at that one. The six-pack and the abs. No, no, no. This is lovely. Mm. Have you got anything you might want to put with that, Nathan, as well? Yeah, I do. Oh, no. (laughs) This is like humiliation. Yeah, it is. (laughs) Oh, you have got them! (laughs) What you need is a pair of boobs. I'm fully to get you through. Mm-hmm. Not a bad set, by the way, Tom. You could your bike in there, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, a teddy bear apron, a set of plastic boobs, yeah. and... Oh... Some, some white gloves. feathery Just, gloves. Yes. Yeah, so oh, now, no, they're actually no, not for washing up. No, but, they're not. Um, no, but these so, are, these are, they're, they're white lycra, so they should be nice when they're wet. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It'll be lovely. Ooh. Yeah, and they t- go all the way to Todd's elbows. <laughs> yep. Nice feathery bits. And Todd knows yeah. what's good when it's wet. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much. I want to know what you know. I want to know how you know what a horizontal voice sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's been a while. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a that's a good point. <laughs> All right, okay. and just like that, a transformation. Todd McKenney. My God, becomes... you know, did you know that when you wear rubber breasts, yeah. you sweat? Yes, <laughs> I didn't know. Real that. You would have made you sweat too. Sure. I'll write that down. And there he is, Todd McLeany. Okay, okay. <laughs> am I going? How long oh, have I got? Oh, just keep going. Just oh, start. God. And the, and the Spider Man cup goes into the. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no rush. You got ages. So, uh, um, talk to us about your show, Todd McKenney. Okay. Any songs good ba- and stories yeah. of Peter Allen. It's, uh, yeah, no, look, I can't really concentrate on it at the moment. Um, it's, yeah, well, I don't know. What are the questions? <laughs> <laughs> Do your Cause job, I'm busy. Clearly, hey you'll be back oh, in shit. town. <laughs> Can you say shit? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. It's early. It's early, mate. <laughs> Let's tuck it in. You've still okay, got a so bit of vacuuming to do I might let well. them so I can do the vacuuming. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he let them soak. <laughs> <laughs> he let them soak. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. Oh, no, no. Have you got it plugged in? Yeah. He's oh, like, this is the one that goes oh, in the backpack. backpack. Sadie oh, the cleaning lady over yeah. there. Um, oh, how's it go over your wangers? <laughs> no, no, no problem. <laughs> no, no, no. His wangers are fine. There you go. So, Todd, good to be back in Perth. Yeah, it's great fun. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really like it a lot. Um, yeah, it's good because I, well, I don't know, just do your job, ask me questions. I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> that was a question. I said, this is a really good vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Thank you so much. If you These do well streamers. in this interview, you might be able to take it home. These streamers are, uh, are coming up a, a, a treat. <laughs> Oh, well. well that's that's that. enough of that, then. Yeah, yeah, that, that's all that. clean. See how quick I am in the yeah, kitchen? Yeah, it's what a uncanny. Catch. What a catch I'd be. Ooh. Have you ever um, done any, like, manual labour around the house before? No, um, I have people for that. I was yeah, going to say. Yeah, yeah. Do you have people for that? Yeah, I've got people for that. How exciting. How many people do you have? Because Sean has staff as well. I've got three. And um, do you know their names? Um, Cotswela, <laughs> um, Mimi, <laughs> and... Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I don't yeah. know where kids from. No, no, I've got, um, what? Well, I've got the, I've got a weeder. I've got a lawn weeder oh, called Lorraine. She's an up oh, She's a weeding woman. Yeah, she's an up in North Shore dame um, from in Sydney. Yeah. And I met her at the Seven. I actually didn't meet her at the Seven Eleven. I was at the Seven Eleven, and I was I was neglecting my garden. And I went in to buy a newspaper, and there was a car outside with a magnet on the door, which said Lorraine's Weeding Service. <laughs> <laughs> so I, it was a Saturday morning. It was full, so I went into the Seven Eleven. I said. Excuse me, who owns the car with Lorraine's weeding service? And this guy who's carrying two gas bottles, this big blokey guy said, 
oh, that's my car. And I said, well, <laughs> Lorraine, get over and do my weeding. I'd call you whatever you like, just do my weeding. <laughs> um, he said, no, it's my wife's car. So Lorraine does my weeding. She comes over and moves things around and plants bulbs and things. Yes. And there's Keith who does my hedges. Who's Keith? Who's um, Is that Jay code for anything? Jason Hodges. Yeah, he cuts my grass. <laughs> um, trims my bush. He... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's um, Jason Hodges from Better Homes and Gardens, brother. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so he hey. does hedges. So it's mm. Hodges Hedges. Um, <laughs> so I've got some big hedges. Uh, this is the crappest interview I've ever done. No, no, I like it. Keep going. And we've got one more staff member. Into Todd McKenney's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then, uh, and who's the other one? Oh, then I've got uh, Javid and his wife who clean. Oh, so you lovely? get a married couple in to do it? Yeah, a Maori. And married. married. Oh, no, they're married. I don't know if they're married. <laughs> but they but are Maori. But they're married, isn't that bizarre? <laughs> um, no, 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 they, because I tour all the time, so if I don't, and I've got a really old house, so if I don't have someone there when I'm not there, it gets filthy. Do you um, live alone? But yeah, I do, two greyhounds and me. So do people, uh, do you get people to house at your house? Because you are away quite a lot. Yeah, I do, because I've got the greyhounds. So their dog walker, now Sophie, <laughs> moves, moves oh, so, in. So, so the greyhounds have stuff. So yeah, so she moves in. There's, some nights I can't stay there because there's too many people in the house. <laughs> You get a servant's quarters so, like Sean built at the back. Well, you got to yeah. do that. It's I'm very down to Abby. Now, I think that's good. I've nearly finished these. Are there any beds to be made? What are, what, are, <laughs> what are the dogs named? Have they got theatrical names? Uh, Chrissy and Joey. My last dog was a schnauzer called Barbara. Yeah. Um, which was quite theatrical. Um, but she was called Barbara because, uh, well, I don't know if Barbara I'm Shiza. gay, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Todd, you were saying earlier on that uh, these dogs don't take a lot of walking, but you get somebody else to do that. Do you t so do you take them to the park? Look, at all? Sean, there's nothing that can't be outsourced. Apparently, from what I'm from what well, I'm realising, you I'm already understand off of that. that. No, I'm right with you, brother. I'm right with you. I was going to outsource this interview, <laughs> <laughs> and now that I'm doing your dishes, I wish I had. Come swell, I totally should have done this one. Yeah, Sean actually gets someone in to clean his windows. Like that's a bit forward, isn't it? Do you get someone to clean yeah, your window? window cleaner. Yeah. Do you have a window cleaner? Yeah. No. Well, once about once every three or four months. I, um, I throw Sophie the dog walker an extra couple of bucks and they do the windows, love. <laughs> <laughs> now what about if you had to put a picture up? Would you do that yourself? No, or I've, you got, get I've got Jonathan the Hangman. <laughs> his name's... His, his company's called The Hangman, and okay. he'll come and hang anything. We have used one. There's a company over here called The Hangman. We've used that as well. Yeah. Um, I got my I got my handyman. <laughs> we don't well, together, me. do we? <laughs> my wife sure. got my handyman to put our pay our cot for our latest born. Yeah, I felt that's a little bad. Bit so can you can you, you put will, okay? will you put together IKEA furniture? No. Will you buy I'd, IKEA I'd pay furniture? I pay the extra fifty bucks for the guy to come over do and you? do it. It's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, because the um, instructions are in broken English and you just can't get it. Life's together. too short. Yeah. And life's too short, and it's just too hard to do. It is. Hey, All let's right. talk. Let's talk music and dance. Um, Gangnam Style. What do you think about the craze, Tom McKenney? Um, I love it. I, I love the fact that. He looks to me just a little bit bewildered about <laughs> finding stardom. Yeah. Yes. I watched I watched him on Sunrise yesterday morning and he came out when they went, here's Sai, and he came out, he just looked totally like, why am I here? <laughs> yes. What am I doing? And then it's like he, someone gave him this acid tablet and he suddenly did yeah. the horse dance. My yeah, favourite yeah. thing That's about him. That's all he can do. I know, my favourite thing That's about him is, do. is he doesn't pick his countries right to do this. He sings a little part of his song, hu he ha ha so he 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 Then he puts a microphone to the audience. We don't know what you're saying. I know, but did you, have, I saw on, when there were, people were singing along, they're not singing along. No. They don't know the words. You're just no. doing phonetically. Well, one of my yeah. friends said on like Facebook, Bumba. oh, that's why I haven't been on, uh, able to understand me. He's singing in Korean. Now, they didn't even know that it was another language. Yeah. They're trying but to sing along. But do you think he's a one-hit wonder? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, do you think? Well, well, I don't know. Know. well what other styles does he do? Maddie's heard his next them. hit, and she says that he, she likes his next hit. But, right. but I don't no, think it's, it's gonna never going to take off. Mm. Well, I've take finished off. the dishes. What do I do? Well, well that means the interview's over. Show. Oh, oh, okay. So the song is over. Oh, no, 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 we can't. The dishes are done. The show's <laughs> the interview's over. Oh, okay. <laughs> too bad. Oh, 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 sorry. Well, it's songs and you stories know, of Peter Allen. What more do you need to know? Bit of Tedfield Sadler, and we move on. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's at it's at the Astor Theatre tonight, tomorrow night, and it's. It's songs and stories of Peter Allen, and then it's also, you know, backstage goss from Dancing with the Stars. And oh, really? It's oh, me okay. and a band and dancers and um, some singers. You can take your boobs off now. Can I take my tits off? <laughs> you can. I'm off my tits. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my tits are off me. <laughs> You've done a very good job today. You've Thank you very much. Is there anything else I can do? Any bears to be made, dogs to be walked, oh, windows to be cleaned, cots to be put maybe up? Maybe the Thank thing you. that you could do today was learn a lesson. Did you learn a lesson today, Tom I McKinney? did, to always turn up and don't mess with you guys. Mm. Yes, yeah, it's good. Lesson learned. Can I go home? Yes, you can. Thank you. Did we talk about my show at all? Make sure your doodle's hanging out. Ha ha ha!
<laughs> oh, that's been done. <laughs>